What's going on guys, it's Twitter on Maxwell here and welcome to episode 19 of the Red Bull Leipzig save. We are on a good run of form, believe it or not. Since you last joined us after the FSV Frankfurt game, we then went to former Bundesliga side Cologne, Lucas Podolski's former club. They had a man sent off pretty early on in Matteo Dejalo after 31 minutes, but took the lead thanks to Kappa Pujabilico after 67 minutes. You know, I was thinking, surely not, they're going to beat us with 10 men. But the substitution had taken off Daniel Fran for Yusuf Pilsen was enough to drag us back in it when he scored with 15 minutes to go. And um, somehow, despite having Oliver Kirk sent off in the last minute, despite being output, completely done in possession, shots was done 20 to 8, we managed to get a great wee point there to keep our unbeaten run. We then took on another former Bundesliga side in Braunschweig at home and two goals from two set pieces to Barry's Villers with a header in the second minute and with three minutes to go Mark Hornschuss sealed the points after a corner was played in terrible defending from Braunschweig and basically the defender kicks it off him and it made it 2-0 in that again 16-8 so we had more of the, the shots but they had just edged the possession but it was still three points and continuing a good run of form which then two days later away to Sarbuchen we then won 4-0. Daniel Fran got to Hornschuss got his second goal of the season and even Jesse Lingard got in the score sheet so a 4-0 win there and um, despite again not having all the shots having less of the pos possession we continued our run of which is now five wins and six and six unbeaten. We're about to take on Paderborn now the problem being is we have a lot of people in international duty. I didn't cancel it because I thought, well it was only two or three in the first team, it turns out it's a wee bit more now. Plus Paderborn are below us in the league and we're on a run of momentum, so I thought right, we'll go with that. I didn't expect Daniel Fran to get suspended so we'll have to miss him as well. So if we quickly get rid of the unavailable players, we need a right back, which Stephen O'Donnell can fill in. We then need somebody to play in the holding role which we can have Di uh, Diaby filling in and a striker is like for like but we change it to advance forward for Yuri Poulsen just means we have to change all our substitutes to accommodate it so that would be Fabian Franke in the defender role Domenico Bronzi in the wing back Demi in the DM role Carlo, Carlo Varelli in the central midfield role and despite Pitbull unhappy and Salvatore thought he's leaving at the end of the season, we'll go with Pitbull to fill in the striker role. We'll keep the attack in fluid football. We'll keep it in the 4 2 2 1 1. And hopefully, as I say, it's 9th against 15. If we can win this, you know, there just might be a slim chance we could maybe sneak in if Dresden have a poor result over the weekend. So let's hope for the best. Let's hope we can get three points here at the Red Bull Arena. We're slight favourites. But hopefully a couple of these players who aren't getting much football can show up today, stick a claim for a first team berth, and then we could end this season on phenomenal form. I'm really hoping we do. If we could get a surprise, at least a playoff place, that'd be awesome. But um I've kinda of penciled and I think we're gonna finish about fifth or sixth. That's just that getting that kind of feeling now. If we can keep this run of form up against the teams that are going to be bigger, we'll still have a few big names to play. And uh, we'll be happy, we'll see what happens though. You know, let's, let's, let's try and get rid of Paderborn first, it's been a poor first half. Can we launch a quick counter upon them? Let's see what's happening here, Pilsen, and no really the support there to help him. Pilsen again, and a Jesse Lingard, ah he's got to finish that, for fuck's sake Jesse. You've got to put that in the back of the net buddy. And it's looking likely that we'll not get another chance. Tigo, Diabe. Come on, Tigo, use your magic son. Pilsen, penalty! Foul on Lugie by Verma. Or Verma. And it's a great chance for Jesse Lingard to make it 1 0 from this spot. Perfect penalty to the keeper's right hand side. And the former Manchester United Youth Academy prospect. Makes it Leipzig 1, Paderborn 0, and what a time to score just before half time. It should be enough. Yep, it's the goal, it's the difference at half time. Just say to the guys, keep your performance up. I'm not going to make any changes yet. We'll give Lugie another 
we'll say 10 minutes and then we'll, we'll look to replace them early on in the second half. And we get lucky there. I think we'll make our change now and hope they don't score. So it'll be Andre Lugge coming off and it'll be a replacement of Thiago Rockenbach. Hopefully add a bit more creativity in that left hand side. And he was looking exhausted. I need a knock so perfect time to take him off. Excuse me, we'll keep up this attacking football as we try and kill that off, although with the amount of chances they're having do you risk going counter? That's the thing, you know, do you really want to invite the pressure on? Ball in, and it's a third goal in three games for Mark Hunshish. I don't know where this run of form has came from. Jesse Lingard plays the ball in. Kirk controls it. Hits off a defender, and Horsha with the rebound makes it 3 0. So the two former Dortmund players combining there. Jesse Lingard will come off for Pitbull, and we'll just play Yusuf behind him. Uh, I think we'll keep it like that. So I think 2 0 with 15 minutes to go should be fine. Hopefully, there's no more highlights. I don't want them to score a late goal, and then we've got so much pressure in the last 5 minutes. We are a good save from Bonman. So, our three Dortmund connected players are all been standouts so far. And Pitbull's in and goal. And what a finish! I thought he had overcooked it there, but that is an absolutely brilliant strike from Claudio Pitbull. And in goal, the defender did catch up on him, just took it wide, and then that's a great finish into the bottom corner for the striker who'll probably be leaving at the end of the season. And is there a chance for a fourth? No, nope, we've lost it. Tenvorde, Mahir Sajic, and another good save from Bonman in the Leipzig goal, and he catches that easy. And that's got to be three points. Come on, Mr. Official, blow the full time whistle. Give us our three points. Give us a good result against Dresden. And hopefully, give us a late promotion push. It's a good one there. That would put us four points behind Dresden. I'd say eight points behind um, Dusseldorf in 1860 at this stage is a bit much because of only, well, we've only six games to go. So, you're kind of hoping for a poor Dresden result over the weekend. Um, we'll continue the video on through the weekend just to see how Dresden have done, how it affects us. Um, knowing my luck, of course, they probably won't cancel their fixture, but I think we'll find out in a minute. Is there any more Bundesliga games this weekend? Dresden playing the Monday, so we'll play through to Monday. It's only us and Dresden that have played. So we'll see how it is pressure wise on Dresden. I'd like to say we could catch them, but I really don't think we will, especially the fact we're still 1860 Munich and top of the table Dusseldorf and um, get a fourth all to play before the end of the season. It's going to take a monumental task. Let's see how Dresden do it. Please slip up. don't think they will. I think it was Kiel they were playing. Kiel are one of the lower teams. They came up with us last season, but obviously don't have our spending power. Top of player, Tim Varanen. Scores a goal, unfortunately, his 13th goal of the season. So, again, still seven points with six games to go. Yeah, we're really just going to be looking at to finish fifth. I would be surprised if we catch Energy Cop this as well. So, the aim is fifth, but we'll, we'll try our hardest to get a wee bit further up the table. Try for third, but it's unlikely. How's our goal difference compared to everybody else? Plus seven. So, we need to get scoring some goals as well. So that's it for this video guys, the next video will probably come, uh, probably be that Dusseldorf game, after they play 1860 Munich, Firth and Kiel. I say Munich will be hard, Dusseldorf will be hard, Firth will be hard, but I'd like to think we can beat Kiel, Allen and Bierfeld. So until then guys, this was Twitter on Maxwell, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you are a bit more optimistic about our chances of going up since we are hitting a run of form at the right time. And until next time. I'll see you later on. Bye-bye.